All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. So let's go through a process of debugging here so that we can find the cause of the problem. So barcodes are not being detected. And if I type one, two, three, four, press enter, I don't get uh, anything here. So uh, instead, what we're going to do is let's go step by step and figure out where our problem is. So it seems we're not getting any result at all. And um, let's look at the query that we have. So what I'll do is I'll do a console.log so that I'll, I'll unmute this so that I can see results. And then I'm going to go to uh, the controller for the Ajax. And right here, this is the query that we are running and we are getting rows over here. So I want to see what I get from the rows right here. So I'm just going to do, um, what's going on here, uh, rows, let's see, if rows, right? But right here, I want to do a die so that we can exit the code here and then just do um, print readable uh, rows. Actually, let's do a var dump here, just so we can know what's going on. In case we get a false, we will still see it. So I'll refresh and inspect the element console. This is what I got because these are the results here. But let's try with one, two, three, four and press enter. And this is what we get. We get Boolean false and then this problem. Okay, so the result isn't found. So there's just not, no result coming in. But what I want to see is, uh, wait, oh, I see what the problem is. The problem is, the problem is that um, there's, oh, there's find and then there's find. Okay, so find is still being used here. So this is okay, it seems uh, everything is fine here. Let's look at the query. Select all from products where description like find. So clearly this one works, right? But then we have the or side and then we say or barcode is equal to and then find. So where the problem is, is that uh, find is equal to text, right? And this text has this percent sign here, which is not doing it very well for our barcode. So instead, let's do this. Let's say, uh, let's save this as barcode is equal to, and then let's remove these wild cards here so that at least we have a clean version of this text. Then here, we're just going to change that to barcode. That way we have two variables now, and uh, there's one for find, one for barcode. Then we need to add that here. So I'm just going to control shift D to duplicate and put a comma there. Now I have two items in this array and then I'll change this one to bar code. And because the variable is barcode as well, I'll change that to barcode. Okay, very well, very well. So this should work as intended. I'm going to remove that. So let's try this again, press enter, and it has actually found it. So let's try a different barcode. I'm going to copy this barcode from here and paste it in there, paste. And as you can see, an item was found. And if I press enter, it will be added. Now, this whole thing will happen automatically using a uh, barcode scanner because it's it's just going to it's going to sound like this Doo -doo. and then the item is added. So uh, very cool. Now, once an item is actually found, uh, this should be cleared uh, from here because we want to be ready to scan again. So I want us to clear this immediately. So, and set the focus back to this. So what I would do is, this should only happen if an item is found, because if an item isn't found, we want to, actually no, maybe we should just clear every time 
So let me go back to here, the JavaScript. And if Ajax is equal to four, so which means things did go very well here, and uh, then we can clear things. So barcode is equal to false, and then let's clean up our mess uh, from the... Uh, there are things that we're going to need to use a lot, like the input. This input right here is very useful. That's the JS search. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, put a variable here that represents it. So this one is, I'll call it main input is equal to document dot query selector. And let's put a dot and JS search there. That way it's readily available when we want to manipulate it. So like in this case, we want to clear everything. So I'm just going to say here, main input dot uh, value should be equal to an empty string. And then uh, main input again, dot focus. That way, we put the focus back on it and um, it's ready to scan again. So let's say it's scanning one, two, oopsie daisy. Okay, so that is a problem clearly. Uh, we are not supposed to... Ah, so this is going to be weird. Okay, so what's happening is because every time I type in here, like so, I'm actually... Uh, yeah okay so i guess we should look for the barcode to be true which means the enter key was pressed and once the enter key is pressed then that's when we can do this okay uh cool 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 so let me cut this out let me come here and say if barcode Let's do that. So you can uh, comment this uh, code uh, clear main input if enter was pressed. That way you can come back and remember what you did. So refresh. Let me type again one, two, three, four, and there we go. Barcode found and then good and then we are ready to scan again see there we can scan again one two three four beep okay then here because we have another oopsie daisy let's get another barcode here just copy that and good and then we are ready to beep again Okay, so it is working just fine now. So if you had a real barcode scanner, this is going to work fine. Just make sure that before you scan, uh, the main input is selected and you're scanning from there. Okay, very well. So things are working good here. Uh, the only thing remaining is the checkout. Uh, actually on this page, yes. So when we click checkout, we want a model to come here and ask the question, are you sure, or please enter amount or something like that. Please enter amount given. So because when you are done here, uh, you have $61, you press checkout, uh, you're supposed to type in the amount so that it gives you the change. That way you don't have to calculate change on your own. So like 61 here, we'll put $100 and then it's going to do a subtraction and then give you back this. So let's see how we can create a model here that will pop up when we click the checkout button like so. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, but we, before we go, I want us to be able to remove an item from here right because currently if i want to just remove this item here i can't because we don't have a close button anywhere here so let's add that real quickly 
So in order to add anything to the item, we'll go to the item HTML, and this is where things are for the items. And so what I want to do is inside the div, wait, that's the description. So this is table row, that's one row, table data, and I'm looking for the one with the amount. Uh, where is this? Okay, so there's one with the amount, then we can add something here. So inside here where there is amount, what I would do is I will push down on the... Uh, okay, so this is the content. So what I would do is I'll put a button here and then closing button uh, tag like so. And then in here, because we have font awesome, we can just put an icon um, like this and close the i tag. So let's do some classes here is equal to, and that's fa, fa, um, there's plus minus, there's times also. Now, this is a button, so let's refresh. Let me just try and click. So you can see it right there. Now I want this button to have a few classes as well. So class is equal to, first one is float to the end. That way uh, it floats to the end, of course. So it's right at the end there. Now let's work on the look. Uh, let's make it a button. Uh, button danger, which makes it red. And then, um, because buttons are quite big, so button small, like that. Let's refresh and test it. Okay, so there it is. So the only remaining thing now is if I click on it, I want this removed. But before, actually because things are easy to scan we don't want to keep asking the question are you sure you want to remove this thing uh, but you can ask the question if you want you can program it exactly the way i did it for the clear all which is very simple we can just say um, where is clear all anyway clear all. yeah so you can just put an if statement with the confirm before the code that I'm going to add. So if you put this, then a yes will continue down here. But, um, so you can say, are you sure you want to clear this item? So maybe you can just say remove item like that very uh, straightforward so it's clear item okay and then here i want us to have um let's be very specific let's clear item from a particular index so we'll supply the index there and that should be it so remove item yes so from items here instead of emptying everything we're just going to say um items dot uh, splice so there are several ways to remove items from uh, an array but the easiest one i use myself is splice so items dot splice like that and what splice does it takes two parameters here you can look it up on the uh, mozilla developer network that's a very good place to learn javascript from it's called MSDN, MSDN. So that's the website. So splice takes two params. Uh, the first one is the index that you want to remove. And the second one is how many items you want to remove. So we just want to remove one like so. Now, if you wanted to replace this item with another one, you could add some data here and uh, that data will be added to we'll replace that item but since we are not replacing we'll leave that empty so once we splice then let's refresh everything so let's just uh, try this and this is clear item 
now of course uh, we will have to add this to the button itself and here it is so we can have an on click listener here and then what we'll do is say clear item put brackets but in here we want to put a variable and that variable will be the particular index because that's the index that it belongs to okay so that way this number this index is sent as as the function runs so refresh and boom and then let me click here it says remove item okay and that item is gone so let's add a few items here and see if we can remove a very specific one like this one burger let's remove that and say okay and as you can see burger is gone now let's try and remove the last item that item is gone let's try to remove the first item that item is gone so it's working very well now you can remove the remove item question here if you want to speed up the whole process because sometimes when somebody clicks that button they're already sure that they want to remove this item but if you want you can leave it alrighty then so so far so good let's continue in the next video